Hello, welcome to the Lone Show. I'm your host, John A. Lone. In this episode, don't have regulars because reasons, I guess. As for our guests, they are from Cohoes. Don't know what that is, but oh well. And uh, these two are the hosts of the podcast called These Fukin Feelings. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mika and Rachel. It's Micah and Rebecca. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. It's okay. I had a long day. <laughs> no worries. We've had a long day, too. <laughs> ah, great. great. So, how's life? Life is okay. We're actually, today we're actually premiering our third season of the podcast. We just started season three. Today is the first episode. So, we're kind of excited just off of premiering a new season. Yeah. Huh. Just finishing up recording an episode here as well. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. And uh, have you been up to anything else besides that? Um, no, we actually pretty much record every day. Um, uh, <laughs> just we have a whole bunch of mental guests health on uh, mental health guests <laughs> on. Yeah. Uh, we just share a lot of methods to our audience on uh, how to deal with mental health. Um, I actually wrote a book recently, so love beyond the battle. And yeah, other than focusing on the podcast and just life, <laughs> yeah. we're okay. All right, very good, very good. So, how did the podcast got started? I um, started the podcast about three years ago. Um, originally, when we started podcasting, we were focusing on prison reform. Um, just we're in in Cohoes, it's actually New York. I wanted to answer that as well. <laughs> <laughs> we're really we're close to Albany, so close to the capital of New York. But um, we started a podcast on prison reform, and it kind of didn't take off the way it did. So we were thinking about um, just not podcasting anymore. Um, and then I kind of went through a lot a year of trauma. My dad died. One of my close friends died. Another close friends died. Uh, my best friend's uncle died. So it was just a, a year of just a lot of death, a lot of sadness. My aunt passed away. And I just started to think that there there were, you know, you always think, you always hear about these conventional uh, therapies and going to see a psychiatrist and counselors and medication and all those kind of things. But you didn't, you didn't hear of any other ways really to deal with mental health or ways that you could deal with mental health that didn't require me to take a pill. <clears throat> So that's kind of when I decided to start the podcast and start to seek unconventional methods of mental health. Not saying that traditionals are bad, but just not everybody falls under that category all the time. And I just believe that different methods work for different people. So I wanted to have a platform where people could come on and share methods that worked for them um, so that people can just try out the methods in finding a solution to the trauma and the issues and the mental health problems they were going through. Hmm. Nice, nice. So if you were given 500 acres of land, what would you use that land for? 500 acres of land. That's a lot of land. It is. I don't know. I definitely will build a community. <laughs> I would build a horse ranch. I know that's random, but I love horses. Um, <laughs> uh, wow, that's yeah. We're, we're we're look we're New Yorkers, so we're not used to a lot of land. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> it, well, depends on what part of New York you live in. But... I know that just sounds like a lot of land. I don't wouldn't even know. I wouldn't want it because I don't want that much grass. Hmm. You Interesting. To, you have to cut it. I... Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can't even imagine what I'd do with that. A horse ranch is a good answer. Well, besides a horse ranch. I was uh, thinking pig farm, but. I mean, if you really want to get into the mental health aspect of things, we could do a lot of nice stuff for the podcast on it. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Do you, Fabulous. What's your answer to that question? Well, to be honest, if I were, had that much land, I'd be able to commute to my own as well. But uh, I would do I add a little twist to it. Like there'll be multiple multi-purpose buildings. Like the lower floors is like shops and other retail stores. And then the upper floors is like offices or accommodation and other apartments and flats. So uh, yeah, all in one. Yeah, definitely. That sounds. It sounds like you had a little more time to think about it than we did. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sweet. For sure. If you were to travel back in time, which decade would you want to live in? Oh, this is a good question. What's your answer? Because I I love the Victorian era. I read books about it and I just love the way the women were dressed and the how they just would have to be courted by men in those times. <laughs> and you know, I just love everything about that era and they were themselves but not really themselves because they always wore things to make their bodies look different and their hair wasn't their hair and it's just such an era that just it's just so different than it is now just everything was so proper yet ridiculous at the same time <laughs> i don't know i could go on and on about that era but i'll stop there but that's when i would go back in time too look i will go back to the hippie era and just stay high all the time <laughs> oh lord why am I not surprised? <laughs> it seems like people were happy in the 70s. <laughs> nice. Very good. What could you give a 40-minute presentation on without any preparation? Well, you asked Micah that question, and his answer would be anything. <laughs> he could give a presentation on anything. In Probably could talk about 40 anything. minutes. Yeah, <laughs> he can talk. Um, but my baby is supply chain management. I kind of been doing that since I was like 18. So anything in like the world of logistics, I can give a presentation on. Very nice. What fictional item do you wish you owned in real life? <laughs> a wand. <laughs> <laughs> you stole my answer. <laughs> a wand. I would want to be able to cast spells and like. Bibbidi bobbidi boo, right? Well, basically, that, that yeah. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That would be great. Yeah. What is your favorite quote? Mm. Mine is, um, there is no odor so bad at that which arises from goodness tainted. I think that was Henry Thoreau, or Thoreau, however you say his name. <laughs> hmm. All right, then. If there was a zombie apocalypse, what was the, what would be the first thing you would do? Call Beth. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, a friend of ours that's really into nature and survival and all she this would kind of thing. Make sure I survive. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, I certainly know how who to call. <laughs> yeah, you could, you could call, call Beth. Yeah, she's yeah. she uh she will make sure everybody survives. <laughs> yeah, she. And I think she also wouldn't have no issue shooting somebody in the head. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, she. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Mm -hmm. Would you rather speak all languages or talk to animals? Oh, that's a good question. I'm going to say speak all languages. I would love to talk to animals. That's what I would like to do. I don't know. I just th think it would be pretty cool to be able to communicate with everybody. Isn't there a D option? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. If you could create your own job title... What would it be? Um, boy, my own job title. Um, the first. Mm. <laughs> I would say queen. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. I, I would say queen too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Fair enough. Would you rather not be able to open closed doors or not be able to close open doors? Not be able to close open doors. Yes. yes. Same. Couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. What hobby would you get into if time and money weren't an issue? Singing. I always wanted to be the male Whitney Houston. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I would like to... Ride horses. Fabulous. How much time do you spend on the internet? 24 hours a day. <laughs> um, Dang, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll wake up and get on the internet. I'm yeah. always, I always have an email to answer. I always have a sex to do or a comment. To He's definitely on the internet. Way yeah. more than I am. Five. When I'm on the toilet, when I'm in the shower. <laughs> well, if you count work, we're on the 
internet all day so 10 hours oh, yeah <laughs> that makes sense yeah do you pour the milk before the cereal or the cereal before the milk the cereal, cereal before, before the, the milk, milk. <laughs> yes finally <laughs> It just makes perfect sense. It does. Yeah. It does. Do you, you know, know people much more... that pours the milk first? Yeah, you don't know how much milk you need until you pour the cereal. Yeah, that's a good point. To be honest, I never... I do know a few, but I can't remember their names, <laughs> thankfully. So, uh, yeah. You're not supposed to. If they do it like that, they weren't worth knowing. I guess then again, if you poured the milk, then you'd know how much cereal to pour. Huh. Hmm. Anyway... Yeah. Anywho. <laughs> what happens in real life but rarely gets portrayed in movies? Um, real love. <laughs> that shit never happens. happened like it happens in the movies. <laughs> Those romantic movies, they be some bullshit. <laughs> I would say like actual danger and death doesn't ever seem to happen in real movies. Like when the car jumps over the bridge and it lands perfectly fine. You know. Interesting. It's a good answer. Yeah, I, yeah, I can see that. So, uh, before coming on this call, I've heard that certain someone has been sick with the you-know-what that has got us locked up in our houses for like nearly two years. Yeah, I had the cooties. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was a bad too. I had, I'm going to tell people I had the 2024 version. This is what's coming out next year. And that must have been the guinea pig that they tried it on because it was horrible. Good grief. Yeah, I thought I was going to die. Yeah. That's awful. Yeah, I wanted to jump Either out the window. I wanted to maybe. jump out the window, but it wasn't like high enough. And I was like, I'll probably just break a toe or something. And <laughs> But no, it was pretty bad. I was, it was, I didn't think I was going to make it. You know, I didn't okay. get as far as like breathing issues, but it was like the headache that came with it. It was, yeah. You know, something's wrong if I don't take 18 showers a day. And I think I went two days without showering. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. If you had a song for every time you enter the room, what song would that be? I'll survive. <laughs> <laughs> I will survive. And I'm trying to think know. of something that would resemble how great I am. <laughs> yes, let's let's all contemplate that. Mike is great. Something that's about an amazing person. Hmm. Um, <laughs> Fabuloso. Are you a cat person or a dog person? Dog. Neither. I don't like animals. Uh, okay then. <laughs> It's, I was not expecting that. Is why I wouldn't want to talk to them. <laughs> he's such a great person. Great people like animals. If you don't like animals, then you stay away from that person. First of all, I'm sitting here like people will sit down and like pick up dog shit, but you ain't touching your spouse shit. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, I'm Micah. not doing that. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> if someone wrote a book about you, what do you think its title would be? Mine's would definitely be Love Beyond the Battle. Um, I'm going to pass on this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. What items do you carry with you every day? Toothpicks. Weed. Um, <laughs> credit cards. Cell phones. Never leave home without them. Right. I have two, unfortunately. <laughs> mm -hmm. And chapstick. Mm. Oh. Yes. Interesting. Money. Not really. But credit cards, you know, that's money, I guess. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, fair enough. Financial. Yeah. <laughs> we can go on all night. Yeah. If you were hosting a dinner party and could invite anyone who is either alive or dead, what five people would you invite? Well, we got this. Kelly Clarkson, <laughs> Oprah Winfrey, Ellen, De Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, this is going to be good. Alia and Tupac. I, I, I feel like he's thought about this before. <laughs> so, wow. Way quick, right? 
Yeah. I was just thinking my mom <laughs> <laughs> because she passed a few years ago. So that's as far as I got. Oh, that's a that's a pretty good list. <laughs> yeah, that's all I need. Sweet. Would you ever try space tourism? Space tourism. Hmm. I think I would. I don't know. It's the flying for me. Yeah, he's not a fan of flying. I don't and like this... anything I can't control, and I wouldn't be able to Galaxy, control Galaxy, let alone the next. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I would want to go to Mars. I just don't want to fly there. <laughs> you just wake me up when we get there. All right. I can see that. What's something you tried really hard to like, but you couldn't? Rebecca? No, I'm joking. Very funny. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? This is what I put yeah. up. Um, animals. Um, okay, I'll agree with that one. My ex mother in law. <laughs> <laughs> hope she's not listening. <laughs> I hope she is. <laughs> Why she's an ex mother in law. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Have you heard of a drink called banana friche? No. No. I get that a lot. Is it a real drink? No, it's not. It's not real. Well, yet, yet at least. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, look out for it then. All right. Very good. It has banana in it. So I'm down. Me too. Swag. What product would you seriously stockpile if you found out they weren't going to sell it anymore? Fruit roll-ups. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> M and M's. Oh yes. I would stockpile a couple of M&M's. What food is underrated or underappreciated? Brussels sprouts. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess I feel like all the food I like is over. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to pass on that one. That's hard for me. Fair enough. What should they teach in high school, but they don't? Mental health. Yes, absolutely. Self-defense. Oh, that's another good one. Would you consider yourself to be an extrovert or an introvert? Introvert. Both. Mm, same. <laughs> What's the best way to start the morning? <laughs> Waking up. <laughs> <laughs> yep, uh, we've all been there. Late. I'm late every day, so I always oh, have no. a good morning. <laughs> I would like to wake up late every day. Nice. What kind of music do you often listen to? Country. A little bit of everything. Oh, yeah. Me too. It's crazy you actually relate to something. A lot of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if your mind was an island, what would it look like? Lots of palm trees. <laughs> I thought she was going to say lots of porn. <laughs> oh, God. Lots of palm trees and lots of sand and coconuts. I don't know. My island will be a city because I'm not cutting no grass. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like nature. Okay. I can see that. What's your favorite TV or movie ever? Pretty Woman. Twister. Oh, I like that movie, too. Yeah, I don't know why, but I can always watch Hella Hunt and Twister. I don't know. It's just an amazing. <laughs> I heard they're making a new one. I'm excited if they are. They are? Electric. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Would you rather be transported 500 years into the future or 500 years into the past? Future. Past. You're going to die. <laughs> I don't know what the future has to hold. Well, whatever got to hold is going to be something, zombies. Look, it's something robotic that can keep me alive. This won't be. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that. Is there a song you really like, but most people find it, I don't know, mid, terrible, awful, bleh, you know? Mm, my husband doesn't like Adele songs. <laughs> I love Adele. I love you, Adele. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's got to be listening to this, right? <laughs> I'm going to say a song. That's What Friends Are For by Dionne Warwick. <laughs> I love that song, too. 
I know better listen to it. And people are like, why are you always listening to that? <laughs> nice. What was the most beautiful place you've been? Puerto Rico. Nice. Mm-hmm. I'd say Brazil, because I have family there. Okay. I always wanted to go to Brazil. Yeah, it's pretty cool for a short while until you realize bang, 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 and so whatnot. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's everywhere nowadays, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, in Puerto Rico, they shut off the street lights at, like, 6 o'clock, and then you fend for yourself. I like traffic lights. Like, at traffic lights at 6 p.m., they're, like, completely shut off. Oh, my God, that's crazy. It's, like, no control. All right, then. Would you rather never age physically or never age mentally? Never age mentally. Mm. Same. Nice. What kitchen tool or appliance do you find especially useful? A toaster oven. Mm. You could put anything in it. Dishwasher. That's a good one. Hmm. Anything. <laughs> Interesting. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I want to say Ireland because it's beautiful in pictures, but I've never really been there, and I would really love to go there someday, so I want to say I want to live there, but I don't really know. I'm going to say New York City, (laughs) Mm. but like downtown where all the rich people live, (laughs) Mm. because then I don't got to worry about dog poop all over the streets. Lord. (laughs) Mm. All right, then. If you could use magic to do one mundane task for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, Take away people's pain. That's not a mundane task. That's awesome. It is awesome. I don't see mundane. Let me see. Um, Nothing. <laughs> um, can you ask a question again? If you could use magic to do one mundane task for the rest of your life, what would it be? Hmm. I don't know. It's a hard one. (laughs) Yeah, it is. Because if I could use magic to do one mundane thing the rest of my life. (laughs) The dishes. I was going to say, I would say if I could make my house be vacuumed every day with magic, that would be perfect. No, for me, it would be laundry. I hate doing laundry. Yeah, I'd have to say that'd be it. Sounds very good. What improved your life quality so much you wish you did it sooner? Started working on my mental health. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. What task did you complete this week that made you feel accomplished? I woke up this morning. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't want to get out of bed this morning. So the fact that I went to work, I'm proud of myself. What did I accomplish this week? Anything? I don't know. Other than getting on my nerves. Oh, you know what? My husband and I finished painting a shed. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. What's the most useful thing you own? My car. Cell phone. Oh, yes, of course. (laughs) If you have to pick a character in a book, movie, or TV show, who is most similar to you? Before you finish that, my immediate thought was Cinderella. (laughs) 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 But then when he said most similar to me... Maybe not Cinderella. Yeah, you did have some evil sisters. <laughs> um, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, that is a good one. I can't think of anybody who is most similar to me literally, but in my mind, I would like to say Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good answer. <laughs> yes, pretty good. Is there an app that you hate? But you use it anyway. TikTok. Like I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of TikTok either, but it's inevitable. Yeah, you kind of have to use it, especially doing a podcast. <laughs> yes, you have no choice. It's either TikTok or flip the lock. <laughs> and that is all we have for this episode. It was great having you guys on, talking about mental health and everything nice. It's been great. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us on. You're welcome. And until next time, stay tuned for more.